All right, what's up there, YouTubers? It's your girl, Shay Skyler, and I'm back with a new video. If you wanna see how I style my wig that I made with a frontal and three bundles, make sure you stay tuned to this video, okay? It won't disappoint. This is actually my first time, I feel like, as a success um, installing and making my wig, and I'm super excited. I'll be telling you guys some details about the hair as well, so make sure you stay, stay tuned. Thumbs up and subscribe, all right, guys? All right, what's up guys? So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the hair. I will show you guys. So this is the hair. Okay, and this is three bundles and a frontal. It is a, a 16 inch frontal, 18 inch, 20 and 22. It is from Miss Here Hair that I purchased from AliExpress. Whenever I get ready to purchase hair, I always look at reviews on the hair from AliExpress because I do like to order from them. And I really haven't had a bad experience with AliExpress, so it's been nothing but um, great feedback with hair and all that good stuff. So um, this is actually the second uh, curly hair pattern that I purchased from AliExpress, but the first one from this vendor. So the timing was great. I ordered, I wanna say a Thursday and I received the hair Tuesday. The vendor kept in contact with me and the hair cost me about 160, between 160 and $180. So I felt like it was a great deal. The frontal itself was great when I first received it. The hair was great. Um, it was a very tight curl pattern, but this is the hair wet. When I do wet the hair, I use a water bottle that's full of water conditioner and also oil and right now I'm using the olive oil very little but the hair is great it does get really big as the day goes by and I installed it at a great time because I live in Miami and, it, and the temperature is actually really cool right now so for me to install the hair right now was a thumbs up all right so I'm gonna show you guys how how I install the hair I've been watching YouTube videos so okay what's up there youtubers so the first thing that i'm going to be doing um as you can see this yellow bottle that i have in my hands it got to be glued freezing spray and it's a little bit stronger than a spritz um i'm just going to be spraying this on a stocking cap this is a not even a stocking cap i made the stocking cap this is from a pantyhose that i purchased from walmart it is the closest to my skin tone so i'm just going to be glue uh, spraying this on my hair making sure that it covers my hairline so where my hairline starts um, and it doesn't have to cover the whole thing just enough to where your hairline starts so it can cover up to your parting of your frontal or your closure and then I'm just going to take a blow dryer and blow dry that to stick on medium heat okay and I wanna make sure it sticks pretty well. It doesn't have to stick in the back, that's fine. But as long as you don't have like a flap, you wanna make sure that it is as flat as possible. You do not want any folds on that nylon stocking cap because it just will mess up the entire flow of placing the wig on. And my hair is also braided down. You wanna make sure that your braids are as small or as flat as possible. So now I'm just gonna be taking the got to be glue, which I'm using as my adhesive to stick on my frontal. Many people right now, they're using different type of things. They sell frontal glue, they sell wig glue. I haven't got my hands on any because they don't sell any in the beauty supply stores where I live. So I'm sticking to the first method, which is the got to be glue. And I'm just going to be placing that on my head as flat as possible. Now I'm just gonna take the blow dryer and let a yay okay i'm gonna take the blow dry blow dryer and make sure that it feels tacky so once that's done oh let me tell you about this mannequin head that i purchased from amazon it was only 24 dollars. so aa and that's how i made my wig look extra nice because i was using that styrofoam before but whatever all right and then the back as i used for my elastic band was the little stretchy band that came with the wig cap 
and it is a mesh wig cap the one with the little holes in there so i'm just gonna place that on my head um with my frontal i dyed it using chamomile tea to tint it i did not do a bleach i just tinted it with chamomile tea and two drops of brown hair dye and i let that soak in there for 10 minutes and then i pulled it out so um after i finish this i'll show you guys a little snippet on how i did that but right now i'm gonna be working this on so i'm gonna work my wig on in sections i'm not going to just place the entire thing on there and i'm going to use something flat other than my finger to press that down and i want to make sure that um, i'm doing this soft and not super hard where it's going to leave that white residue all right so sorry guys so once i finish that i'm going to continue placing that on and as you can see it blends in really well with my skin complexion remember guys this is how the wig came and all i did was do a tint using that chamomile tea and those two drops of coloring i did not want to go through the bleaching me method because i believe my first wig i over bleached so once i have my wig around the perimeter how I want it. I'm just going to take the blow dryer. I don't want to put it on super heat because I don't want to burn my uh, head, but I'm just going to blow dry that on. And then I'm just going to take a scarf and I'm going to tighten that around my head to make sure that it is laying as flat as possible. Okay. We want to make sure that it's not coming up and that that glue and that that um that that frontal is sticking to your okay, head guys so now i'm just going to be taking my hair and brushing it to spritz on water and to make my hair super curly the only thing that i use is a water bottle two pumps of leave-in conditioner and two drops of olive oil and the oil actually makes my curls you know um popping but this hair gets really big so i'm just going to take the scarf off and as you can see this is how it looks before i do my edges okay so this is just the frontal and the glue and as you can see my parting it looks really natural it's a natural color and it blends in with my skin tone which is great and remember that nylon cap is underneath so that makes a huge difference next i'm going to be using my edge wax to fulfill and lay my edges of course, this takes practice. I'm still not as great as um, laying my edges as some other people, but I'm going to lay my ed edges as if I was laying my own hair edges. Well, this is my hair because I purchased it, but you know what I mean. So um, I'm just going to get that. Now, you see there's a little bit of white residue, but all I do is just take a cotton ball with alcohol and I just dab that on and that removes that. Then if I need to fix anything, I just use some um, color from my palette. And after that, this is how it looks, guys. I I can do my hair half up half down i can do it um, half up with a little bun it is really really pretty this hair is really really nice so make sure you guys thumbs up you like and subscribe this is my second time making a wig say hey scott but my second time making this wig and i'm super excited guys so share 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 and do all the good stuff love you god bless bye